now you see how we play school. Dis distinguishing the two, one from another sometimes is hard. It's hard. This three technique right here is supposed to do, you're going to be impressed with the job he does. He starts out thinking it's scoop. I mean, he starts out thinking it's double team. Then he feels it's scoop, and he's going to stay on it. But he felt it. Watch him, and you won't be able to see it from this view, but you'll see it from the back side. Really good feel for what was going on here. See, see him start to turn his hips, but he feels it then. He feels it ain't double. He feels it scoop. Now, this is a three, this is a linebacker fit. Watch the left three over here. There's the linebacker fit. He keeps them both on him, the left three does. And the linebacker just works right off of it. That's okay. <coughs> That's good. We got we still got a free guy. Same thing with the backside with the three over here at the top. He's gonna do the same thing. You'll see the linebacker. Watch the linebacker from this angle. He's clean. Three squeezes it, linebacker fits it. Left three, do the same thing. He's going to squeeze it. Actually, we in jet mode here, too, because it's gun. But he does a great job of playing this, the top three does, the left three. Good. Keep squeezing. There you go. Linebacker fits it. Same thing here. Get, get you no. Know, Different one. Left three. All right, I know what I'll put this one in here for right here. This, I don't like this play. Watch this three thing. Now come back with one. He frees the linebacker up, but his feet are lazy. Watch him how he plays this high boy scoop. He has to hold the guard. Now, he did do one thing. He kept the linebacker clean. But I don't like the way he left three. Good job of working the line of scrimmage, keeping the line of scrimmage. Right three. Ball cut back. Makes a heck of a play. This boy is a kid named Carl Wilson. He lives here in, in San Diego. Mm -hmm. and is that right? This is him right here. Yeah. One terrific football player and a great person. Play with him. Oh, watch the 20 right here. Run that one back one time, please. See, here's what here's what I see ideally. Watch 20. They want to both stay on him. We got a free guy in 20. Okay. Nice play. This one's in the NFC Championship game. Watch this left three over here. It's a good play. Now there's a time when scoop becomes slip. There's a time in the block when slip when scoop becomes slip. Okay? I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Watch a watch a watch a nose tackle first here. Now the back shot, watch the back side three. When he leaves me, I'm trying to play scoop, but he leaves me. Now I want to replace. There's a time when scoop, when he leaves me, becomes slip. So I turn scoop into slip. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Backside three. Scoop became slip then. He left him and went to the back. Now, this is a jet situation. This is our nickel people, the right three at the top. Boy, he does a great job here. Watch him play this. They leave him. Scoop now becomes slip, and he's going to replace. This one, I think, is an out-of-place shot. I'm not sure. No, I know it's not. 
to write it right through the top. It's a nice shot. I'm just getting out of place for teeth. There it is on the cut back. Squeezed it, played the cut back. Alright, watch him now play this back door. This is a this is a tremendous shot. On this shot right here, now you're gonna see him come out the back door. Watch the three. See him come out the back door of that thing? Okay, slip. Slip is the opposite one. Now now I can't I can't protect him, I gotta replace him. Okay? Now, stop it right there just a minute. <clears throat> There's certain things that I think that it's good to work together. This is something I always work in combination right here, is the back block and the slip on the one thing. Because angle of release at the beginning of the plate is identical. It slip and back block look alike on the initial angle of release by the center, okay? <coughs> I think the first one is a back block. Run it, please. Now there's a slip. Maybe it'll get better. Here's a slip. Damn. Here's a back block. Alright. Here's a back block. Here's the slip. I don't know why that's doing that. Getting in, getting in that scene. But those two things, working those two things together has been really helpful to us. And several things that I try to work in combination because the original angle of release looks just alike. There's a back block. God, no. All right. This is one of my favorite slip shots right here. I'll show you from the back end. If it's dead gum film. All right. Watch, watch the nose on the slip. Now, Guys, do y'all know why I'm running, running back one time? Do y'all know why? Watch Mike. Watch Mike's thinking right here. Now watch that nose thinking. Square. Now open your hips. Now make the play. He's thinking possible cutback. Short one more time. Can y'all see that? I mean, what a football player, guys. What a damn football player that kid is. I mean... He is so aware, John, I'm telling you, so it's so much fun coaching the dead gum guy because he understands the game of football so well. I forget which he played Orange County. Uh, I wish I could think of which school it is, but well, what a hell of a player he is. Alright. This is slip, and as you can see, he makes a play there. Watch him here now. He's gonna try to help the backer get his hand on the center. And then what we do, show that one more time, please. What we try to do with them is this. We try to use both hands. The right hand I want to put on the center's pad. The backside hand I want to keep from getting cut with. And it also, on slip, it also pushes me down the heel line. Run it back one more time. Watch his hand. Now, I can't protect the, the backer. Look how wide the Green Bay Center goes here. But I replaced him. That's what he's working to get done. This is a, it's not the same play. It looks kind of like the same play as Green Bay. Now see, run that one back one other time right there. See, this guard tries to cut him here. Watch his backside hand. <coughs> nice job of using that backside hand. <coughs> and coach, stop it just a minute, please. I, I didn't mean that if I said it a while ago, I hope I did. I, yeah, see, I want to get behind that center. Because you know, when I said he can't get in front of him, See, I'm shaded on this side, so he's going around for the backer. I really can't get in front of him. 
I, you know, what I want to do is help him, help the linebacker a little bit with this hand. And I want to get on that heel line, just like you see him doing it, making the play. I want to make the play behind him. So now my thinking is, when he slips, is replace the linebacker. Replace the linebacker. Okay? All right, then you know, like this one, this is a good, uh, hey, uh, John, this is Joe Klecko, Joe Klecko's boy. For you? Yeah, they moved him to fullback. Watch him at nose here. Okay. Boy, isn't that great? <coughs> hey, what a damn effort by the kid. I mean, he, 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 is, he really is something now. He's too short, too small, fat. <laughs> Good player, little boy. Good player. All right, now, this is going to be the, the, the nose on the slip. And, and watch him use both his hands here. You see it on the back shot here. Watch him try to keep that guard from cutting him. Coach, see it with his backside hand? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, this is going to be a, this is a fun shot for me. I want to show you. Uh, watch the nose tackle here. Get the seam. Open your hips. Angle tackle. Okay, watch it one more time. <clears throat> Slip, open your hips, <clears throat> angle tackle. Okay, good. Now stop right there just for a minute. This is the drill where we work the ends, where, you know, five technique up the field, tackle blocks down, reach and gather, reach and gather. Our thinking is roll dive, boot leg, everything else is landing. Out. But if the ball goes away, and the boots out of, then he wants to open his hips and run. Okay, so this is my little drill that I do right here. Set him down one time, would you please? Now, would you come back and set him down? And we end it with an angle tackle. Here's here's a attack react. Run it back one time. Here's a read attack in the back. He's working off of this guy. This guy's working off the ball. Then both of them shuffle, reach and gather, reach and gather, open their hips, angle tackle, head across the bow, whatever. Now, one of the things, run it back to that first one if you would. One of the things I found, and I told you I use that gold post bag for a lot of stuff. I think it's a great thing for your kids to tackle. It's big around enough, see, they can wrap up on it. It's tall enough that the tall kids don't have to lose their form, whatever, but it's a really nice thing to tackle. All right, here they go. Boom. Open your hips. Bam. Here's the play. Shuffle, shuffle. Open your hips. Angle tackle. And, and I can show you on, the, on my, oh, stop it. I can show you on my defensive end film where you see those guys shuffling, shuffling, and the ball go, the ball's going there, opening the hips and turning, catch, catch people and everything. It's a good little old drill. I call it shuffle tackle drill. It can be done with an angle tackle. It can be done with it. Now, run it back to that drill. Let me show you point out one more thing on that drill. I really like that drill. Somebody here might like it. <clears throat> Those red dots, you guys come on back past this play. All right, stop it right there. Just a minute. Whoa, whoa. These dots are forward from the stands. So they're working the block up the field. Y'all know what I'm saying? I don't want them working laterally. I want them working as if they're pressing the block up the field. All right? So then when they get to this dot, they're going to open their hips and run in the angle tackle. Okay? So sometimes we do this. We make a spin tackle out of it. So we got a player with a bag right here. They shuffle to here. He comes and they spin tackle. So you can work spin tackle or you can work angle tackle off. But it's a great footwork drill, and then I'll show you get some tackling done with it. Okay, go ahead. Head across the bow, all that shit. All right, you're going to like this one. This is a good play. Watch your nose tackle here. Here he is. Boom, man, he makes a play. 16 tackles in this ball game. And so many of them were doing this right here.
Nice play. Yeah, nice play. This is this is a nose tackle here. Slip, open his hips and run. Guys, we're gonna make a lot of plays on that damn slip. We're gonna make a lot of plays on that slip. Because you asked me earlier, Coach, do you want to get a piece of that center? And I said, shit, no. I can't, first of all, I try to widen him a little bit, but I ain't. If he goes away, I'm just going to replace behind him. That's what, I, I, when I answered that for you then, I thought, you know, if you saw this, you'd understand where I was coming from. I just want to get in that seam. I know my linebacker's dead. I got to replace Because I know that if the center can't get the linebacker, he's he's. Yeah, they don't not even they don't bust home without his ass, cause he's already he's already got a man in a half position on the guy. He, sure he can get him. Alright, go ahead. This may be one. There's a couple in here I really like. Yeah. Guys, is that a not what watch this kid. Play that slip. Now watch him slip. Play that slip. Stay square. Now guys, if he turns. He gets that left foot up the field, he never makes that play right there. He can't make that play. That's why that reach and gather, that's why I work that crap so hard. Okay. Two gap. Linebacker had removed himself for coverage. <coughs> Slip on the nose. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what, what a good little player. Coach out on the feet. Yeah, that's one I was telling you, you gotta have on shoes to be six feet. <laughs> he is six feet with shoes on. This is a nice play by him too, right here. He does it both ways here. Good job fighting through this slip. Okay, run it back one time, please. Y'all doing okay, guys? Yeah. Okay. Here, here, here's. See him trying to get behind that center? One more time. Run it back one more time. See the center's working now to come around here for this backer. Watch your nose tackle. Mm. Another thing that we try to do on, this, on anything, watch your nose tackle here. Get behind it, get behind it. Open and run. I get stop it right there just a minute. Another thing that I ask them to do right here. Uh, anytime there's an inside release, you're talking about down block, we always try to push it with our inside hand. We never reach for it with our outside hand. Okay? Because here's the deal. If, if it's, if, let's say Coach works inside on me. I got this hand on him. I can stay square. I reach for him with this hand. What happens to him? Yeah, it's hard to get him without without this foot coming up the field. Okay, so we try to all all down blocks. We try to play. We try to get our inside hand on him, and the only time we'll have the outside if it's really tight on us like that. But we don't reach for him. But we know if we reach we reach for him, we we're never going to be able to play cutbacks and things like that. Okay, all right. Slip on the three. There's just a few of these. Coach, got about eight minutes, Coach. Okay. <clears throat> What's going to be funny about this, here's the Jats. This is the Jats play. Remember that, it's on the 45-yard line. Well, I remember this. Okay. It's 45-yard line. All right. Here's the slip on this left three over here. Mm. Here's the TD shot. It's the best offensive line in football, I think. Certainly one of the best run blocking. I think it might be the best. Now, here's the Giants right here. Remember, this is a 10 yard line. It looks like the same play. Yeah. 
<laughs> two different years, actually. We make a lot of plays on it, guys. We make a lot of plays on that deck on slip block. And we allow the linebackers to make a lot of plays on the scoop. Now this is a fast, this is a fast snap here, but watch your backside three. They get us, watch that backside three. Great job. Now that back told him, I'm going outside with this football. That's the reason he opened, opened his hips and ran so, so quick. I don't know why I got this one in there again. I apologize. It's a nice play. I try not to repeat those. Top three. Now, here's an interesting play. Go back one time for me, please, son. Watch your nose tackle. We're going to get scooped by the nose, off the nose. All right, now back it up one time. We're going to get slip with the five technique. It tells him it's slip, angle of release. Then he's going to play bite ball. Hardest block on the one technique in football to me. Looks like slip. We work those two in combination all the time. Three on two drill. This is the same thing you saw a while ago. I think the first one was a back block on, on the 80. Right. There you go. Good. Now this is going to be a slip. So he's got to distinguish those two angles of release. Now let me tell you what we tell him on the back block. Boom, right to stop. See him working for width? Go back just a little bit. <laughs> Here's what we don't want to happen, guys. We don't want that power play going in the A-gap. We want it out here. When that thing goes straight, when they knock that damn nose over there, and they can run that thing straight down the field, and you hope you get your people working to the B, you got it's a, it's a hard play on you. It is. And it's going so straight down field. So what we tell that nose tackle is this. When they back block you, if you can just maintain the A-gap for us, get width to the big defense, if you can just maintain that for us, we're going to be okay. Don't let them knock you over there over the damn fire technique because we got us a problem on defense if you do. Now, in this first shot, go ahead. Stop it right there. Now, in this first shot, we don't play this play very well. But if you'll watch this, this one technique here, I remember this like it was yesterday. He told me, he said, Coach, I couldn't wipe it and I couldn't U-turn it. He said, so what I tried to do was just get width on it where the ball could, wouldn't come downhill in the eight. That's exact. I remember him telling me that. Watch him here. He's going to do a great job of getting width on the guard. Watch him scoot his hips out this way. Scoot your hips. Good. He just got width where the ball had, had to get out of the A-gap. We, hey, we can have a successful play if we just do that. All right, watch it. You'll see him. Uh, this is, look at the back end shot. Go ahead and go fast. Right through this. Force it out of the A. Watch him here. Force it out of the eight. There you go, good. Right there. See him, guys? Run that back one time. I'm telling you now, that is such a good read. Center goes back, watch him. Get his hand on him. Boom. Now, get width. Okay? Let's go ahead to the back shot. It's hard to see this from the side, but you can see. He does a pretty good job on this one on the back block also. He gets back across this one, actually. <clears throat> All right. Now, this one is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. And it's Snee 
It's a guard from New York, the pro, all pro guard. Yeah, see him? Watch him here, watch your nose now. That's a nice play. <coughs> nice, very nice play. Cross it. And you can see he honored the back block, man. He honored the center because he stepped with his right foot. Okay, now here's here's a couple against the Cowboys. Go ahead to the back end, shadow this. <coughs> now, he just wiped the guard from New York, and these next two, you're going to see him U turn. Nice, huh? And this is uh, this is this year. It's the first play of the game. Watch him U turn. First defensive play of the game. Watch him U turn, Big Lynn. Okay, now watch a TV shot. Well, watch this one right here. Stop it right there. See where Leonard is on his body? They ain't no way, guys. This is 375 pounds, first of all, and, and about a biscuit away from 400, actually. <laughs> he, he's got that head right there on him. Ain't no way he's going to get back across that. So he does such a great job of you turning that thing and working down the hill. This, I think, is a TV shot. Oh, you gotta hit that light point, John. Please. So, so what? What? I, I, I sometimes think I, I get, I go so. What? What I was, th what I was trying to talk about was, 